Hi, clay friends. Does anybody want to make an eagle? Let's give it a shot. This is the first one that I've made and we'll make our second one together. This eagle is for Anders. One fun thing about eagles or birds is using some different techniques to make different marks that look like feathers because feathers and clay are very different, right? So we're gonna try to uh, make an optical illusion to make the clay look like feathers. So let's get this guy out of the way. Um, and we're gonna start by making a rock or you can make a branch, anything you want, something for him to stand on because clay is heavy um, there's no way to really get it to stand up on tiny little feet. So we'll start by making something for our eels to stand on. The tools that we're going to use for this are pretty simple. Again, we're using um, a kitchen skewer or a pencil. Um, a fork is optional. You don't need it if you don't um, have one handy. And then as always, we'll want a little bowl of water and a chunk of clay. So we want to make sure your clay is still pretty soft. If it feels like it's getting dry and starting to crack, just add some water to your bag and let it rehydrate. So we want about this much clay, so you can compare that to the size of your hand. And we're going to start to squeeze this and roll it a little bit into the body shape. Their bodies are actually kind of long, and then their um, the tail comes down to a point. So you can kind of pinch down into a point. They're a little bit thicker, not a lot thicker through the middle here. And then we'll start to pinch out the top here into that head. So you can make the head a little bit thinner and taper off into a little bit of a beak. And we're gonna refine the beak later. So don't worry about getting any of the details perfect at all. When we're sculpting, usually we just wanna get the overall shape first and then we'll come back later and do some of the details. So it gets roughly kind of a bird body shape going on. We're gonna add separate wings and legs. So I'm gonna set this aside and let it firm up a little bit. It's still pretty wet and floppy. I'm gonna let that firm up and I'm gonna take another little ball of clay and turn this into just a rock that my bird can sit on. So I'm gonna make a little pinch pot. So I just roll it kind of into a ball, really loose, rough, and then put your thumb down the middle and then start to squeeze towards the outside. So I'm pushing my thumb towards my fingers and turning it all around and it's gonna hollow it out. And then we can turn it upside down and you can um, just give that some marks, do whatever you want, bang it around, give it some rough edges, make it look like a rock. So you can kind of put some marks in it until you think it looks like a rock and you're happy with it. And that's what our bird's gonna sit on. So we'll attach them to that for some extra strength. Um, let's get our little bird over here. See how it compares. Might need to raise that up a little bit. You'll wanna just make sure you've got room for him to set. So you might need to make your rock a little bit taller. Just gonna, you don't want the tail to totally be touching the ground. Um, and then we're gonna take, the only other thing we're gonna need is a little scrap of clay for some wings. So this guy is gonna set like this. Okay, we're just making sure that that's gonna fit on there. And then we're gonna take another, take, so you can take some of your scraps from another project and we're gonna pat that out. And if you want to, you can kind of Throw it down like that. And you can cut it with your skewer. The sharp end of the skewer works nicely to cut clay. So we're gonna want some wing shapes and their wings go from about their event, imagine their shoulder almost down to the bottom of their tail. So you can hold the body of your bird up and cut out a wing shape. I'll pick this up. So that's gonna look like that. And you can kind of hold it up to your bird and make sure that that's the right size. If it's the right size and you're happy with it, you can lay it back on top of your scraps again here so that you can cut out a second one that's the same size. That's a good trick for getting things the same size. All right, get put this back in my scrap pile. When you're not using your clay, if you just toss it back in your plastic bag, it keeps it nice and moist. And if you need to, sprinkle a little water in there. So I'm 
putting my scraps back in my bag. All right, so the parts we have, are, we have two wings, we have a rough body and a rough rock. And then I'm just gonna take one little pinch of clay more here, and that's gonna be some legs to support him. And once those firm up a little bit, we can sculpt them into some little claws that are kind of gonna be grasping onto the rock. So let's start to put some of our pieces together here. We've got our rock, got our eagle body. So with these scraps, let's roll this out. I'm gonna roll that into a bit of a really fat coil there. And then I'm gonna cut it into two. And that'll make his legs that are gonna hold him onto the rock. So we get him kind of attached where we want to. You pick which side of the rock you like best. And then they really do have pretty big, thick legs. So take these two coils and you can use your skewer and start to blend the coils up into the body of the bird. So we want the coils attached to the bird. It's gonna help hold it on. And that's gonna be the top part of his leg. And then later we can sculpt some claws onto there. Keep that kind of divided there. And you just keep pulling the clay up until you can't see that it's two separate pieces of clay. So once it looks like looks like it's blended on there. And if you need to, if they start to look like it's one big blob of clay there instead of two separate legs, you can go back in with your skewer and kind of separate that. The other thing we're checking for is, does he stand up? Is he solid? And don't worry about, um, we'll make claws down here later. We'll kind of put those on last. We'll go in and put details on very last. So again, we always start with the big shape. So we're worried about the shape of the bird, and then we'll go in later and add details. So roughly, we have a shape of a bird on a rock here. So let's add the wings next. The wings are something that really help define, especially on an eagle, their wings are so big. When you see them flying, their wings are like six feet across. And so when they're perched, they almost have big shoulders. It almost looks like big shoulders here because their wings are so big. So because this clay is um, just super wet clay, we're just working with wet clay on top of wet clay. We don't need to do anything special to attach it. We're just gonna line these up. So kind of look at this from all different angles and decide where you want your wings. Make sure they're even. And when you get them where you want them, we're just gonna start to slowly press them in So we're gonna work that in and attach it to the body of the eagle. And again, we're looking from all different sides. So when they come down the back, they actually come all the way back and they almost touch. So we're gonna work these down to where they almost touch like that. All right, we're just pressing around the edges to make sure it's attached really well. All right, what do you think? It's not starting to look like a bird, maybe like an eagle. All right, let's start now. We'll start to work on a few more of the details. So let's start from the head down. So their um, beaks come straight out and then have a definite curve in them. So we wanna make sure we've got that curve in the beak and then I'm again I'm gonna look from all different angles I'm trying to make sure I keep the beak in the middle of the head make sure it doesn't get all off to the side and wonky and their eyes actually sit just at the very top of the beak so I'm gonna use the rounded end of my skewer and put in some eyes so there's one eye two eyes and then they also have nostrils at the top of their beak. So I'm gonna use the pointed end of my skewer and put some little holes right in the top of the beak there. And 
And then they have these feathers that go over the top of their eyes that almost look like eyebrows. Get these little nostrils a little more even here. So I'm gonna take some of my scraps and put just a tiny little coil across there to look like that, that eyebrow. So it's a super, super tiny piece of clay. So I'm rolling out just a little teeny tiny coil here. But if you look at an eagle's face really closely, they have a row of feathers that it starts at the middle of their beak and it goes right over the top of their eye and it kind of makes them look fierce or angry. So you can play around with this a little bit and see how fierce or angry you want your eagle to look. I'll pull that up close just so you can kind of see how that starts to make more of a face of an eagle. And then we're gonna use the sharp end of our stick to blend that in and give it kind of the texture of feathers. So I'm using just the pointy end. Get this in here a little bit closer. We're just gonna to start to make some little feather marks. So I'm just dragging that little coil back and I'm using the tip to make it look like it's kind of the idea of feathers. We're just trying to trick the eye. We know it's clay, we know it's not really feathers. It's not gonna look completely like feathers, but we're seeing if we can trick the eye here into looking from a distance. If you stand back from a distance, see if you can trick it, make it look a little bit like feathers. Okay, so starting to look a little bit like feathers. And you can decide how much detail you want on your birds, eagles, and how much you just want the big shape versus the details. So you can go in with this, your skewer, and you can put little feather marks all the way around the face. And then they have, um, well, if we're doing a bald eagle, there's a white mark here. Since we're just working with clay, we're not working with colors, we can give the indication or show where that white mark is by making some bigger marks. So we can use the other end of our skewer and go in and make some, some bigger, deeper cuts there. And that kind of just gives the idea visually of where that line would be. Kind of hints that it's a bald eagle. So we'll make some deeper lines and longer, make it look a little bit like there are longer feathers there. All right, so we've got this idea of some feathers going on there. You can do the same thing. So we've got these deeper lines going down the chest here. So this is kind of the indication of where the white ends. And then you can um, use your skewer and make some little chest feathers if you want to. Again, totally up to you how much detail you put in there. So that just gives a hint of some chest feathers. And again, they have kind of long, scruffly feathers down at their legs. So I'm gonna define this a little bit more, make sure it's looking like two, two legs. And then I'm gonna go in with the other end of the skewer and let's drag this down this way and see if we can make it look like those kind of scruffly feathers. Okay. So that's what we're looking at there. Now let's try to separate out, use our skewer again, and let's try to separate out those claws. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is your eagle. You add as many details as you want to this guy. That kind of gives the idea of some claws hanging on there. Now let's go down, let's look at the back a little bit. We can put some little feathers straight down the back so we can do the same, um, same thing with the pointy end of our skewer and give the idea of some small feathers down the back. And then we'll move on to the wings. The wings are really fun because at the um, tips of the wings they have really long feathers. So there's kind of a fun way we can give the illusion of some long feathers on there. Okay, so there's our little feathers. And if you want to, um, you can put some little more detail on the claws. Totally up to you how much detail you want on there. But let's work on these feathers on the wings. So if you take some soft clay, 
some of your scraps, hopefully a um, little bit soft, and ball it up into just little tiny balls, and then press it on and drag it up. You can see that it's it kind of gives you the idea of feathers. It's not gonna look exactly like feathers, but just press little balls and drag up. Little balls and drag up. And especially at the because at the bottom they have longer feathers, you can put a little bit um, bigger pieces of clay and drag a little bit farther. So put a little ball on there and drag it up. And then as you get farther up the wing, the farther up we go, we'll want smaller and smaller pieces of clay and won't drag it quite as far. So we'll just take a little ball and drag. And a little ball and drag. Little ball and drag. And then because we're going up the up the wing here, we're getting into smaller, so I'm not gonna drag quite as far. I'm gonna use smaller pieces of clay. And everybody prefers different amounts of detail. Some people really enjoy the detail part. And if that's you, take your time, hit pause on the video or rewind it. But you can go in and put as much detail as you want. And some people prefer to work loose and that's great too. There's no right answer. Your bird, your eagle. And then as I get to the top here, there's um, smaller, feathers at top. So you can even come in with a different um, tool and make an indication of some of the smaller feathers that, that are at the top of the shoulder there. And then I'll show you one more layer of detail if you are really into detail and you enjoy that part of it. You can use the sharp tip of your skewer or a paper clip and you can go in on these individual feathers if you want to and make them really look like feathers. You can put in little tiny detail feather marks. And this might be too much detail for some people. Again, it's your bird totally up to you. I'll just kind of give you an idea of that extra detail. And then we haven't done the tail yet. The tail has long feathers, and so that's easy just to draw some lines there to give the indication of the long feathers that are in the back there. So that's the basics for your eagle. So you can make this your own. You can use the same techniques to make different birds, to get a picture of a bird, and um, you can practice different shapes. And if you get one that you like, take a picture of it and send it to me. I would love to post it in our kids gallery online. And if you want to check out what other kids have been making, you can check that out at bakercreekceramics.com. Look under kids gallery. And if you want to email me a picture of yours, it's bakercreekceramics at gmail.com. I hope this was fun and I hope you know a little bit more about sculpting birds than you did 20 minutes ago and hope to see you again soon. Thanks for hanging out with me.